Hey filmmakers, it's Kerry with Filmmaker Central. And not only for my own curiosity, but because a couple people asked for it, they wanted to see Blackmagic speed tests on the Mac Mini M1. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. So let's get to it when we come right back. Okay, we're gonna try the Blackmagic speed test. There's that one. And let's see, we're gonna do the Blackmagic raw speed test. So between these two things, hopefully we're gonna get some results that some people are looking for. So I'll go to the settings, I'll select my target drive, make sure that I'm using the main hard drive here, not my uh, external. And I've got it set on three gig. Let's do one gig, three gig, and five gig. And we'll see what difference that makes. So here's gonna be the one gig. And you can see the numbers are extremely impressive on this internal hard drive. All right, let's go to three gig setting and we'll hit start there. And again, we're getting pretty similar numbers, but also extremely good numbers. So this thing is really fast. Okay, let's bump it up and we'll do the five gig test. And again, right about the same numbers, pretty much what I would expect. And we are greenlit across the board. So the hard drive internal on this M M1 Mac Mini is, it's pretty darn fast. Let's go over to the Blackmagic raw speed test. And there's a bunch of different settings in here. So let's, uh, let's start with HD 3.1. And we'll give that a try. And we're seeing 237 frames per second on the hard drive CPU and uh, our HD CPU and 722 on HD metal. That's not gonna get us into, you know, the really high frame or the high resolutions on here on B-RAW. But it's, it's, you know, respectable. You, you could, handle some 4k stuff but anything anything in the higher ranges you're probably going to have to do proxies for i mean it's just that b raw is is pretty intense so i'm going to go ahead and stop that and we're going to kick it all the way up to 8k and um, we'll give that a shot and we'll see if we get similar numbers which i kind of expect oh oh it's yeah it's gonna hurt there on 8K CPU and 8K metal. Now, this may change, okay? It's entirely possible that the Blackmagic raw speed test results will change because right now we're running an emulation mode on the M1 chip. If they do a native M1 decoder encoder for the M1, that could make a huge difference in the performance of Blackmagic RAW. But on just hard drive performance, it's extremely good. So I'm very impressed with the internal hard drive performance. And I don't do Blackmagic RAW, so it's not a showstopper for me by any stretch of the imagination. But for some people, that may be a killer right there. So you might have to do proxies or do some optimized footage if you're gonna be working with the higher, higher resolution B-RAW stuff. But for the people who asked, there you have it. The speed test performance of the M1 along with Blackmagic RAW speed test on the M1. Short, sweet, to the point. Thanks for watching everybody. Like, share, and subscribe if there's something you'd like to see tested on the Mac Mini M1. And this is only the eight gig model. Can't get the 16 yet. So this is just the eight gig model on here. Let me know in the comments below what you'd like to see done or shoot me a message. Uh, happy to try and test whatever I can for you. I'm as interested in this stuff as you guys are. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. Really appreciate it. Really helps the channel out. And I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.